treason. The penalty that we are all paying right now for the president's uh, treason is we are losing our allies. Impeachment. We believe that President Trump has violated the Constitution and we've introduced five articles of impeachment. And getting rid of ICE, the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement. Well, you think I you believe, should get rid of the agency? I believe that it has become a deportation force. All ideas pushed by left-leaning members of the Democratic Party. But are they too extreme? More moderate Democrats say yes and want to rein them in. Impeaching the president is not a, a, a message, message that will resonate beyond the base of the party. Uh, we need to have a message that resonates beyond the base, to the middle, to independents and others who will make the difference in this election cycle. And recent polling seems to back up this approach. According to Hill.TV and HarrisX American Barometer, 64 percent of Democrat voters say they would not vote for a socialist candidate. Moderate Democrat Matt Bennett agrees. He and his team at Third Way just hosted Opportunity 2020, bringing together middle-of-the-road Democrats to voice their concerns. They disagree with Senator Bernie Sanders' view on the economy. Guaranteeing a federal job to everyone in the workforce is not a good idea. That might have been a good idea in 1932 when we had 28 percent unemployment in the height of the Great Depression, but it's not a particularly good idea now when we have 3.8 percent unemployment. And when it comes to abolishing ICE. Reuniting families we think should be the focus for, for the Democratic attack on the Trump administration and immigration. The one thing nearly all Democrats agree on is their dislike of President Trump. Without a doubt, there has never been a unifier like Trump. Bennett's message heading into November is to win and wait. We can have these debates about exactly which direction the party ought to move after November when we start to kind of round the bend towards 2020 and we choose a nominee and ultimately we're going to have a leader for our party, that nominee, who's going to make those choices. But for now, uh, our message is focus on winning and um, set aside the things that are tremendously divisive. That's important because polls show GOP voters agree on one thing their support for President Trump. And if that translates into a big Republican turnout this fall, it could spell trouble for the Democrats. In Washington, Jenna Browder, CBN News.